is like the boiler room. Um, I don't think I'll go down in there. The last time I went down into a boiler room, I got attacked by fleas. And I'd rather not have that happen. So he is right. The chimney is part of the boiler room. Start with this first porch. Uh, I like that chair. And this door right here is nailed shut, but it leads to the kitchen. What you see, Shell? Hmm? What you see? Come on. You got one of those old locks. Yep, there's a, this these doorknobs are black though, but you're right, it's one of those old locks. Um, okay, there is a nest. Um, I'm hoping it's a bird's nest, but ten bucks says it's a rat nest. So, we'll go on in here. Into a bathroom. Woohoo! Who is that? Alright, I'm gonna get out my flashlight. There's a hole in the ceiling. So don't fall through. I'm going to get the downstairs before I come up there. But again, it's this nice, what used to be nice wooden floors. Someone left behind furniture. Here's a table. An upside down chair. Um, it's pretty obvious someone's been in here. Here's a purse. I'm not going to open it. Don't want to know what's in it. Furniture. That's been torn up. Somebody's really vandalized this place. And then if you look here, right around this windowsill, it's, um... Wow. I don't think that's vandals, though. I think that's more of just elements and time. These doors, especially. It is another one of these nice doorknobs that does remind me of my grandmother's house. Uh, this one's got a stove. A refrigerator that I just don't think I'm going to open this time. The ceilings are peeling even worse than the other kitchen. That's got a big gaping hole. But at one time, this might have been really, really nice. This thing had a lock on it. Why would you have a lock on a closet like that? That floor looks like it's given under your weight. She weighs 134 pounds. And, um, definitely looks like it's giving under her weight. There are some nails in this board. I'm going to move this board out of the way. See, there's a big gaping hole in the ceiling. Another bathroom. Looks like somebody left behind a dress. There's a pillow. Another closet. More seriously peeling paint. But those doorknobs are not the nice doorknobs. Okay, be really careful on this floor again. little hallway. So this one is not exactly like the other one, but it's very similar. Here's someone's suitcase. 
someone's glove, more peeling paint. This looks like it was a bedroom and there is still a bed in here. There's sheets on the bed. Here's the dresser. And the book. Discover and understanding your child's secret feelings about growing up. Ellen Rosenberg, author of Growing Up Feeling Good. And this is the porch, the second floor of the porch. Where does that take you in? Okay, I'll go that way then. Left a bunch of window units behind. Come in here. Takes us back to the hallway. Even the peeling paint on the railings, Charles. Wow. Somebody took the doorknobs off. Yep. Somebody's been in here paying the lobby. Oh, that's a shame. This is really a small bit. Careful of those holes. Another closet. That's a big hole in the roof. That is a very big hole in the roof. All right, ladies, let's watch where we're going. Because there's a hole there, and a hole there, and a hole there. So we'll step over here. And uh, there's some holes there. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Yeah, I can feel that giving. So then I'm back down again. Bathroom or shower. This must have been where the washer and dryer was kept. There's the nest. Little side porch. And that is it.